the Vanguard going in balls deep? Is that what's happening? Uh oh, get the third. You won't. Oh, man. Do it. Gonna rush Do it. Man, I'm not killing him. Possible. <laughs> no, I'm hey. not killing him. What is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. In this video I'm going to be talking about the uh, the No Land Beyond sidearm combination. Uh, some people call it the Hovey because that's what I dubbed it in uh, one of my videos. But uh, let it be known he hates when people call it that because it sounds super full of himself and pretentious. So uh, just keep doing it. Um, since he hates it. Anyways, so this combination, the question is, is, is this a competitive setup? Can this be used effectively uh, against decent players? And uh, the conclusion that I've come to is a conclusion that uh, is actually different from my original uh, consensus about the No Land Beyond in general. Uh, my very first ever No Land Beyond video I ever posted, this was a long time ago, but I, I said that it's a great challenge weapon, but it's not a good gun, and that I wasn't going to try and spin it as a good gun. But uh, my opinion of this weapon has changed since, and uh, part of it is just because of the advantages that the No Land Beyond gives you, um, if you are a good sniper, if you're skilled. And you can see here sliding underneath this guy's sight line, and then using Snapshot that No Land Beyond comes with, you definitely should run with Snapshot in the center tree for this thing. You can quickly snap in, acquire your, uh, your target, and take your shot. So the, the No Land Beyond does have some advantages that are worth noting. Um, obviously it is a sniper rifle that takes up your primary slot. So what that means is that it frees up your, your special weapon slot. And the thing about the sidearm is that it's actually a, a, a great choice, especially in combination with a sniper, something that has a tendency to, if you miss, or if, if someone who has an overshield, um, then what you can do is you can take one shot with your primary sniper rifle and then quickly switch to a weapon that fires fast, that is accurate from the air, so that you can make some approaches, I mean just like this, uh, I, I don't have to worry about not having good accuracy when I'm jumping around with this thing. And that's what I love about it. And so what I've ended up doing is uh, I'm really enjoying coupling the No Land Beyond sidearm combo right now with the Twilight Garrison, and you'll see a little bit of that in this video. But being able to kind of bolt around and, uh, and rack up these kills with the sidearm is, is really a lot of fun and quite effective when people are trying to track you and you're using the Garrison to kind of boost around. In fact, I do have a bunch of Trials of Osiris footage from this weekend already in Memento uh, using that setup, the Garrison plus the NLB plus the sidearm. But uh, I won't show it in this video because um, I'll probably make a separate video altogether of my uh, Trials highlights and play breakdowns, so that way you don't see the same footage twice. So this is just a lot of footage um, that I collected Friday morning trying to warm up with No Land Beyond because I, um, I knew that we were going to do a No Land Beyond only run in Trials, uh, me and Hovey and Manny. So I was just trying to warm up here. I, I just spawned into this match. I was like, oh, well, hi. <laughs> so I was like, all right, well, it's time to time to go ham with the sidearm. And the Havoc Pigeon, I think I got five kills, just a quick five kill streak with the Havoc Pigeon in the first minute that I was in this game. So that was uh, pretty enjoyable. And using the Garrison to boost around, especially on a map like this, uh, Burning Shrine where there's lots of pillars and things of the sort and tunnels that you can kind of boost in and through and around and uh, just kind of confuse people and ah t-rex arms and then he derped out with a throwing knife so that was a little bit of a derp fest but that's neither here nor there so sidearms i think are actually highly effective in crucible if you can close gaps and uh, the way that i tend to use them and this isn't i mean not exclusively but the way that I, t I do tend to use them is um i will do damage either with a equipment like a grenade or um with No Land Beyond, you know, body shot, if I already get a body shot. And then I followed up, like here, after a melee, after I do a significant amount of damage, then I just quickly switch to the sidearm, because the, the equip speed is really short and quick, and then uh, just pop off a couple quick rounds. They have great accuracy at close range, so uh, I hip fired a lot as well. So, anyways, great weapons, they honestly are. And uh, I, even, I even have extreme success using this against strong shotgunning teams as well. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I would, I would tell you in terms of No Land Beyond, you know, now that we have a little bit more of an open reticle in year two, they removed that inner ring. Uh, one of the things that I do, and I actually did this after watching Hovey play a lot, is um, right before I take the shot, I snap the reticle up a smidge. I try to aim for the crown of the head. 
and uh, you'll see that in a lot of this gameplay here uh, that I've shown you. But damn it! <laughs> This is what I have to deal with while recording commentary. My wife giving me wet willies and things of the sort. It wasn't wet. It was it was semi wet. It was moderately wet. On a scale of one to wet, it was kind of wet. Anyways, to answer the question of the video, I do think that this is actually a, a decently competitive setup if you're used to it, if you uh, use it enough to be familiar with how it plays. And uh, what I'm going to do is take this combination into the Trials of Osiris on Momento this week, and I already have a ton of great footage, and I'm going to actually break down moments of using this combo and how you can use it effectively, ways to make approaches, actually specific tactics you can use. So hopefully you can look forward to that. Guys, we'll catch you in the Crucible.